Hi, welcome to In Your Bible. I'm your host, George W. Green. This is a quick recap of my three-part series, No More Tithing. Why should you listen to me about this? Well, I've been telling folks since the mid-80s that God does not require tithes from Christians. Uh, my first website uh, in the early 90s was something like uh, Give Freely, Give Freely. Mm, I didn't want to surprise folks as I presented this truth. I later finally got the courage to be more direct about the issue and changed the website to No More Tithing in the mid-90s. I then published a book by the same title, No More Tithing, in uh, 2000. That book, by the way, is no longer in print. Uh, for those of you that need a lot more study on the issue, you can read Should the Church Teach Tithing by Russell Earl Kelly, Ph.D. He had a major impact on my study concerning tithing. On his website, he has many, many rebuttals about seemingly all opposing views on the issue. And of course, I'll have the links in the description. I also want to recommend No Percent Tithe. That's the name of the book, No Percent Tithe. The author, T.D. Acam, uh, asked me to review his already published book, which I did. I identified some things I knew would help people understand. Uh, Brother Acam changed the title of his book and took most of my suggestions, asked me to write a foreword, and published again. Yeah, I really knew he was committed to get the truth out. Uh, so, very quickly, I will recap uh, the tithing issue. First of all, you and I are not qualified tithe payers. There are several reasons. Also, your church leadership are not qualified to receive the tithes required in the Old Testament. Secondly, uh, the tithe had to come from crops and herded animals in the Promised Land, that is, within the nation of Israel. Um, there, there were several different tithes required of certain Israelites. Not all Israelites were required to tithe. Yeah, I was surprised to learn that too. Uh, first, I will mention that the tithe for the, I'll mention the tithe for the Levites, usually called the Levitical tithe. There's two parts to it. Uh, just those who either own the farmed land, that's the first part of the tithes for the Levites, or the second part is for those who raise herds of animals in the land of Israel. You didn't own land, you are not required to tithe. You raise herded animals, but it was less than 10 you were not required to tithe. Let's say you worked on Farmer Larry's land to raise crops. Didn't matter how you were paid. Paid in cash or paid in crops, it didn't matter. You were not required to tithe since you are not the land owner. Uh, the first tithe, the tithe that went to the Levites was only required six out of seven years. I just know that exactly none of you that have been taught that they must tithe have ever heard that before. Uh, the first tithe went to the tribe of Levi, the Levites. Within that group was a special group. That group was the descendants of Moses' brother Aaron. They were the Levite priests. So this was the Levites' tithe of the tithe. Okay? The Levite tribe then took the best of what was given them and in turn gave that to the Levite priests. Uh, by the way, God did not require the best for himself when it came to the tithe I described earlier. Every tenth animal went to the Lord, no matter its condition. Uh, a few of you might be surprised at that, too. Uh, the next tithe is the festival tithe. There were three festivals a year that Israelite men were required to travel to Jerusalem uh, for these festivals. A tithe from the same people, farmers and herdsmen, were required to bring food for the celebrations. Some Bible teachers try to encourage believers to give 10% because they say under the Old Covenant, tithers were actually required to pay 23%. I'm not sure about that number. I'm not sure it's correct. I actually believe it was higher. But it doesn't matter for us now. We are not under the Law of Moses. To me, they only mention it as a way to get believers to stop complaining 
about paying 10%. In other words, your mama and daddy work for the man 16 hours a day and you only have to work 12 hours a day, so just shut up and be glad you got it so good. The third tithe was the poor tithe. This tithe was collected from the same two groups, farmers and herdsmen, for the poor. God never required a tithe from poor folks. Not a landowner, you are not required to tithe. Own less than 10 herded animals, you are not required to tithe. The poor tithe was collected in just the third year of the seven year cycle, or possibly the third and sixth year of that seven year cycle. Did I say that we're not under the law of Moses? Yeah, it doesn't matter to us now what the law of Moses required. So, forgive those that taught you that God can't bless you because you don't give 10%. You have to learn to listen to God for yourselves. He will lead you in how to give joyfully. Thank you for listening.